folks, it is that time of year again, and we're back at it. Spurgeon here with Brandon, and today we are gonna be discussing the best motorcycle helmets of 2022. We evaluated nearly every lid on the market. We looked at the build quality, the weight, the comfort, the safety, kind of all those things we as riders look for in a helmet to choose the best options in five major categories. And just like last year, we have picked one top of the pyramid selection for each of the categories, as well as one budget friendly option that we thought really does hold its ground, but just at a lower price point. Now, if you're just getting started out there on two wheels and you want to learn more about finding the right helmet and size to fit your head, make sure to check out our how to size and buy a motorcycle helmet guide. So to kick things off with the best full face helmets for 2022, the winner this year is the AGV K6, which starts around $500. It also weighs two pounds, 14 ounces in a size medium small, which is gonna make this Super one of the light. lightest, if not the lightest full face helmet on the market right now. AGV is able to accomplish this via a carbon aramid shell that's available in four shell sizes with five EPS liners. By providing more shell sizes and specific EPS liners, they can reduce the physical size of the shell and offer a more precise fit while also offering an ECE certification. And the profile of the shell, this little contour that you see right here, is designed to help reduce injuries to the collarbone. And speaking of the shell itself, I really like the physical shape of the K6. It's sporty, but not overly aggressive, so it works well in all riding positions while reducing that turbulence when you're riding with some serious speed out there. So while Brandon likes the physical shape of the outside of the shell. Personally, I like the internal shape as it's a bit more intermediate oval and not nearly as round as what we've seen from AGV in the past. Thus, it's gonna make it a more comfortable helmet for a larger audience, not to mention the interior is glasses friendly. For those of us that like to wear sunglasses while we ride, or perhaps you're someone that needs to wear eyeglasses. You also are gonna get a four millimeter face shield that is anti-scratch in its design and it's pin lock ready with pinlock lens included in the box. A lot going on with the K6, especially at this price. Pretty solid option. Now, the K6 gets our top spot because it's incredibly light, it's exceptionally quiet, and stylistically, I think it's one of the best looking you know, helmets out there. But if you're looking for a full face helmet that is a bit more budget friendly, then our top pick for 2022 is going to the Sedici Strata 2, which is starting around 230 bucks. Back at it again. The Strata 2 has a lot going for it that you're not typically gonna find at this price point. It's gonna feature a fiberglass Kevlar shell, three different shell sizes throughout the size range, combined with four different EPS liners gets an ECE certification and a pin lock ready face shield. Now it also features a drop down internal sun visor, which is gonna be a great option, super handy for any riders out there, you know, doing some commuting or some long distance touring. Now, for those of you that don't want the internal sun visor, there is a Primo version that loses that feature and it gains a Snell safety certification. There's also a Polare version <laughs> where for a few dollars more as a fully integrated Cena Bluetooth system. Now the real benefit here is that the unit is built in into the helmet, which maintains a low profile design. This will reduce wind noise and drag on the helmet while still giving you all the features of a comm system. So with the best full face helmets out of the way, let's get off the tarmac and into the trails. The best dirt lid for 2022, my friends, that is the Bell Moto 10 Spherical coming in around 850 bucks. The Moto 10 Spherical is a revolutionary step forward in the dirt bike helmet world. It's drastically improved upon the airflow, the comfort, and most importantly, the overall protection it provides. It features a segmented 3K carbon shell, which means it's two pieces of shell combined via aerospace style connectors, which in turn creates this massive ventilation port running down the entire helmet. The airflow on the Moto 10 is probably the best I've ever experienced, and I can confidently say that. I would agree with Brandon on that 100% doesn't happen very often that we agree with one another. <laughs> um, what I would like to say is that unlike the Moto 9 helmet, which utilized Bell's Flex technology, the Moto 10 features Bell's new spherical technology. This is actually the next evolution of Flex, and it now incorporates MIPS into the design. This allows Bell to certify the Moto 10 for DOT 
ECE and Snell certification for protection. So whether you're crashing fast, like Brandon, <laughs> slow, like me, or you're dealing with rotational impacts, this is pretty much the safest dirt bike helmet on the market. And to your point, if you've not seen the Cameron McAdoo crash in Atlanta during the 2021 Supercross season, it was such an early crash and he was wearing this specific helmet. Thankfully, McAdoo was not only able to get up and walk away, but he came back and raced to finish third, which is absolutely crazy. And to me, that's a true testament to the overall quality and the level of protection that this helmet actually provides. Now, it does tip the scales at three pounds, eight ounces in a medium, which on paper, puts it on the heavier side of dirt bike helmets. However, it wears its weight surprisingly well, and it feels much lighter than what the scale implies. But this is an $850 helmet. So let's now take a look at our best budget friendly dirt bike helmet. And this year, that is going to the Fox Racing V1, coming in around $200. The V1 features a lightweight polycarbon ABS shell construction with four different shell sizes and four EPS liners, which equals a helmet weight of three pounds, seven ounces in a medium. The V1 includes the traditional MIPS liner, which provides multi-directional impact protection, which we touched on a moment ago. And it is difficult to find that under that $200 mark. Now, what I will say is that from a feature standpoint, it's a bit of a toss up for us in this category. The Fox V1 is right on par with the features of the Bell MX-9, which actually won this category last year. Correct, Amundo. I think that's a great alternative option. But between the two, the V1 edged out the competition because it's got arguably better style and slightly better ventilation. There you go. So that's going to wrap up our picks for the dirt this year. Let's now move on to the best modular helmet. And Starting things off is going to be the Shoei Neotech 2 coming in around $750. Now I like to refer to the Shoei Neotech 2 as Old Faithful because it's just been a consistently great helmet since the original Neotech came to market. It features an advanced integrated matrix plus shell with four shell sizes, five EPS liners, and while four pounds might sound a little bit heavy and it's not as lightweight as last year's option, the AGV Sport Modular, the Neotech does feel a bit more refined in comparison. This is actually my personal go to. I have a Neotech 2 in the garage. And when we're talking about refinement, we're talking about how well this helmet ventilates. We're talking about the fact that it's set up to have a fully integrated SRL2 Bluetooth comm system from Cena, which helps to reduce drag and wind noise. It's also going to come with a pinlock ready face shield and an insert included in the box. And you're also going to get an internal sun visor with this particular lid. It's a lot going on there. But one of my favorite parts about this particular helmet is just how quiet it actually is. The interior on the Neotech is super comfy and it seals up really well around the neck roll, which in turn helps reduce a lot of wind noise, keeping this modular nice and quiet. And just so everyone out there is on the same page, modular helmets do tend to be a bit noisier yeah. than a traditional full face helmet. But the Neotech 2 is definitely one of the quieter options available if wind noise is a concern for you and you're shopping for a modular helmet. But enough about <laughs> Old Faithful here. If you're looking for something around the $200 price point, our pick for the best budget modular helmet is going to go to the HJC i90 starting around $210. The i90 uses a polycarb shell featuring two shell sizes, three EPS liners, and it weighs in at three pounds, 13 ounces in a medium, and has a very sport-oriented design with an enlarged eye port for about 10 millimeters of greater visibility compared to its predecessor, the IS Max. Now, in effort to cut down on excessive noise, the i90 features a Bluetooth-ready design which accepts that Cena Smart HJC 10B or 20B communication system. The larger internal sun visor also is going to provide greater coverage than its predecessor, and it's gonna feature HJC's one-touch shield mechanism, which is now on the side of the helmet. This is gonna be different than what you used to see from HJC, where they used to put it up on top of the helmet. This allows you to much more easily get that sun shield down. The one note I wanted to make for you before we move into our next category, though, this helmet is DOT and ECE certified. However, if you move up to the 3XL, 4XL, 5XL sizes, they will be DOT only, and they will cost you a few extra bucks. All right, so let's move away from modular helmets and get into the best ADV helmets of the year. And for 2020, we're gonna kick things off with the Arai XD4 starting 
around $625. You love this helmet. The XD4 features Arise handmade complex laminate construction. It features five shell and EPS sizes. It weighs three pounds, nine ounces in a size medium and carries a Snell safety certification. Spurge, why don't you tell us some more about this lid, eh? So I have been using one of these for about the past three years. And what I like about this is it's become my go-to helmet when the trips involve both highway and off-road riding. It's aerodynamically tuned peak is gonna give you a lot of stability on the street. So if you're laying down highway miles, it's gonna help to reduce buffeting. Just makes it more, you know, stable on long stretches of tarmac. The vents on this work tremendously well if you're riding off road. And I like the fact that the face shield can be used with a pair of goggles without having to take it off. Now it's important to note that any helmet in this category is going to be a bit of a compromise. It's trying to do two things at once. So just keep in mind, not trying to undermine spurge here, but those points are relative. It's gonna be more stable at highway speeds than a dirt bike helmet would be, but not as stable as your traditional full face. And it flows more air than the average street helmet, but not as much as a traditional dirt bike helmet would. So just- yeah, All great points. Yeah. All great points for people out there that are just getting started in this category. Category. And speaking of people that are just getting started in this category, our top pick for the budget you, ADV helmet of the year is going to be the Bell MX-9 Adventure MIPS coming in around $230. The MX-9 Adventure has a polycarb construction with three shell sizes and EPS available. It's ECE certified and it's one of the lightest ADV helmets at this price point weighing in at three pounds, six ounces in a size medium. Pretty impressive. I also like that you can remove the peak on this one and it still looks like a natural full yeah. face helmet. It looks really sharp. For those of you that are spending a lot of time on the highway and you don't want that peak on there, you can take it off. Now, for those of you that are spending more time off-road on your adventure bikes, the MX-9 Adventure is similar to the Arai in the fact that it will allow you to use goggles without removing the face shield. We highly recommend using goggles with both of these picks for any type of off-roading. They provide superior dirt and dust protection over the standard face shield. Keep your peepers yeah. safe, people. <laughs> and with that, you have got our top picks for you ADV riders out there. Mr. Wise. What do you got next? Oh, buddy, this is a this is a big one. It's our final category of the year, the best race and sport helmet for 2022, and that is going to the AGV Pista GPRR, starting at 1,450 bucks. The GPRR is a full carbon fiber construction. It features four shell sizes, five EPS liners, and it weighs in at three pounds five ounces in a medium small. This is going to make this one of the lightest helmets in the category, which features an ECE and an FIM race certification. While the helmet can be worn on the street for everyday riding, the AGV Pista GPRR truly is designed for those racing enthusiasts out there. This is a replica of what the fastest riders in the world are wearing on the MotoGP grid. I love the aggressive style. I love the fact that it features the best field of vision in that full tuck racing position with an unmatched horizontal view of 190 degrees. The shield is also both pin lock and tear off ready with both of the inserts and the tear offs included in the box. It also has a removable integrated hydration system on the bottom here. And even though this will be, you know, the first MotoGP season in the past two decades without them, I can't help but look at this helmet and think of all those cool, crazy Rossi graphics. And I'm sure those will continue to be popular options amongst our fans. But considering the aerodynamics, the protection and the engineering for the high speed riding application, the AGV piece to GPRR our helmet gets our pick for the best race and sport helmet out there. However, we understand that $1,400 is a lot of money. And for <laughs> yes. some of you, you want to allocate some of those funds back to a track budget to spend on, I don't know, tires in addition to your helmet. So our final pick of the day is going to go to the LS2 Thunder Carbon Helmet as our pick for the best budget option in the sport race category, coming in around $700. Now, I feel like there's a few folks out there that might be a little upset that our quote unquote budget option for the best race helmet is 700 bucks. So I think a better call is bang for the buck for this particular LS2 helmet, considering everything that you're gonna be getting with this helmet and where your money's going. Agreed 100%. Yeah. This is going to be an impressively lightweight helmet coming in at three pounds, four ounces in a medium, which is actually lighter than the piece to GPRR. <laughs> it's got three shell sizes and is one of the very few helmets in the market to carry an FIM race certification, also is DOT and ECE certified. You're gonna find little turbulators at the top and the sides, and while this might seem a bit gimmicky, it really does help to smooth out the air 
at extreme high speeds. Keep in mind, this is really designed for those of you out there going at extreme speeds on a racetrack. For 700 bucks included in the box, you're gonna find a high-end carry bag, not a big deal, but nice to have. You've got clear and a dark smoke shield included in the box, both tear-off ready with the tear-offs included and pin lock ready with the pin locks included as well. It also features a spare set of face shield base plates. See these little chrome pieces right here? You can swap those out for some blacked out ones. I think it looks so much better. Larger breath guard for winter months to help combat the fogging, a hydration tube, which is fully integrated right here at the front, really nice. Nice to have that and an inflatable donut that at first glance might look like a whoopee cushion but it's nice to be able to set your helmet down on that it's not a whoopee cushion brandon brand brand try but honestly i mean it's really a tremendous amount of accessories that are included with this particular yeah model. that's a lot of stuff which is why i think bang for the buck is probably a better call out for this particular helmet agreed now all those accessories aside the Thunder Carbon Helmet is lightweight, it's well balanced, it's FIM race certified, the airflow is great, it's comfortable, and the optics on the shield are <laughs> tremendous. So just a real tip of the hat to you, LS2, on this particular helmet. And with that, we are going to wrap up our top picks for the best motorcycle helmets of the new year. Yes, sir, but don't forget, we've also put together gear guide articles on Common Tread that provide greater detail on every category across motorcycle gear. There's a lot of awesome yeah. motorcycle gear out there, and you're gonna get to read about all the other options that deserve your consideration for 2022. And don't forget, if you want more detailed info on any of the helmets you've seen today, check out the detailed breakdown videos on all of the helmets in this video. <laughs> and after that information overload, if you're still feeling unsure as to what helmet is right for you, don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team. They are well versed in the world of motorcycle gear. They're gonna be happy to get you pointed in the right direction. For myself, for Brandon, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Enjoy the ride. Keep it pinned.